Hello, darling. It's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, bringing you the best in DVD. Dumb video dreck. Now, you know, I'm not just your favorite horror movie hostess. I'm also your cyber pal. So before we start our flick, I thought I'd answer a little email. Let's see what's in Elvira's box, shall we? You have email. <laughs> oh, I get loads of email. I mean, guys get one look at me, and the next thing you know, they're just pounding away on their laptops. Some of them even have computers. Let's see. OK, there's about 100 fans who want to refinance my castle. And some of my fans are so concerned about my health, they want to send me some Viagra? Hmm, well, I'm sure it couldn't hurt. <gasps> What's this? Oh my gosh, grow your 25% larger. Um, well, my boyfriend does have a birthday coming up. Come to think of it, so do I. <laughs> Oh, and here's one from Iggy at LooneyBin.com. Dear Elvira, I'm typing this with my nose because the doctors dress me in a really tight jacket. Yeah, well, I hear you, Iggy. <laughs> you should see him try to stuff me into this dress. <laughs> oh, my favorite movie of all time is The Brain That Wouldn't Die, signed Iggy. <laughs> the Brain That Wouldn't Die. Boy, I mean, he must be like brain dead to like that movie. This guy is just obviously a loser. I mean, no wonder they keep him in a straitjacket. What a sicko. I mean, he absolutely has no taste at all. P.S. You are my favorite actress. <laughs> well, he obviously knows a good thing when he sees one. Oh, here's a picture attached. I bet he's handsome. <laughs> ah! Uh, well, Iggy, <laughs> uh, I hate to burst your bubble or whatever that thing is on your shoulders, but uh, the brain that wouldn't die is just too terrible. I mean, I don't think any human being should be subjected to that flick. But let's ask your doctor. Uh, doctor, who should watch this movie? Rabbits, mice, monkeys, not people. Well, I guess Iggy's safe then, because one thing's for sure, he definitely ain't people. Um, but Doc, what about my two or three fans who are human? Now, is it safe for them to see it? Our bodies are capable of adjusting in ways we've hardly dreamt of. Oh, tell me about it. But it's a really bad movie. So what if it is? Well, you heard him. I guess we're all going to have to watch The Brain That Wouldn't Die. Doctor's orders. So I told him, of course I know what it is, but why is it eating my popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> gosh, guess who just happened to roll by? The star of The Brain That Wouldn't Die, and a good friend of mine, Hetty Carcass. You know, Hetty and I were in high school together. Yeah, we were the two most popular gals in school. I mean, back then, the boys were after me for my body, and they were after her for her. And so, Hetty, before this film, you were pretty much just a nobody, weren't you? Yes. As a matter of fact, you still are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but now, thanks to the re-release of this movie, you and I are three of the most popular attractions in Hollywood. There are power as hideous as our deformities. <gasps> hey, watch it, girlfriend. My deformities are buying the groceries at my house. <laughs> you know, when a lot of young actresses suddenly become famous, it really goes to their head. Now, in your case, there was no other choice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you really made headlines when you... Oh, hold still, Hetty. Oh, darn, I missed. Hit it again. If you insist. Got it. <laughs> well, Hetty, I understand that while you were making this movie, that creature was always trying to put the make on you. You know what it's like. Do I? Honey, around here I've been squeezed more than a Charmin. <laughs> well, Hetty, it's been really fun having you, but I gotta run. Can I give you a lift? Yes. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> what the heck? We're both headed in the same direction. Until next time, unpleasant dreams.